In August, the Pentagon announced a new drone initiative dubbed Replicator as a way to better compete with China's military. The Defense Department says the program, which depends on fielding large numbers of smaller drones, is a game-changing shift in U.S. national security. Small drones essentially mean the democratization of precision-guided munitions, where anybody in the world now with a few thousand dollars can build extremely powerful and precise weapons that previously only powerful countries would have had access to. So I think we'll continue to see them on the battlefield. Mark Jacobson, a U.S. Cornell and assistant professor of strategy and security studies at the U.S. Air Force's Air War College, tells VOA the Ukraine war has been unprecedented in its use of air drones. He says Ukrainians are using between five to 10,000 drones a month and train on average 10,000 drone operators a year. Some of the drones being used on Ukrainian battlefields have autonomous capabilities and are equipped with artificial intelligence-enabled munitions that can identify, track and attack targets without human intervention. Jacobson says that autonomy raises some ethical concerns about machines making the decision to kill. Because of the complex EW environment, it's so hard to maintain data links, there's a greater and greater push towards autonomy where drones could fly themselves and make some of their own decisions. That very quickly runs into ethical concerns. James Rogers, the executive director of Brooks Tech Policy Institute at Cornell University, says drones are already making those decisions. These weapon systems, once a target has been identified by its preset algorithm, well, they can make that choice about whether or not a human lives or dies without a human being in the loop of control. So it's important to plan for the future, but it's also vital we recognize that that future is now. According to Pentagon, even if drones have the capability now, the U.S. military will always exercise what it calls appropriate levels of human judgment before any force is used. But they say you can't count on other combatants to do the same. Maya Kay, VOA News, Washington.